To solve this question, we first need to find a common denominator between these two fractions. If I were to rewrite these fractions out here, we would then need to find the least common denominator between 3 and 5, or in this case, the smallest number that could be divisible by both 3 and 5, and in that case, it would be 15. So we need to start by multiplying our denominators by a factor that would give us 15. 3 times 5 will give us 15, and 5 times 3 will give us 15. Then we take these factors and also apply them to our numerators. 5 for the left fraction and 3 for the right fraction. Then we can complete this multiplication. We have 2 times 5 in this numerator, which will give us 10, over 3 times 5, which is 15. Then 4 times 3, which is 12, over 5 times 3, which is 15. And now that we have the same denominators, we can add these fractions. 10 plus 12 in our numerators will give us 22. And the denominators will simply stay the same. We'll have a denominator of 15. Now we have an improper fraction that we need to rewrite as a mixed fraction since all of our, um, since all of our answer choices are in mixed fraction form. So we must ask ourselves, how many times can 15 go into 22 evenly? And the answer is just one time. So we're pulling out one whole, or 15 fifteenths. We're pulling that out of the fraction. And what's left over, if we were to subtract 15 from 22, we would be left with 7 fifteenths. One whole and 7 fifteenths, making answer choice A our correct answer.